Uh, this is a Heath kit, model TC-2 tube checker. <coughs> I got it at a yard sale for 20 bucks, and uh, came with this the manual. And I guess Fred Barrier made it, building number nine. pretty dirty or really dirty and dusty I took it apart you know, I just there's not much in it um, cleaned it off cleaned the contacts as much as I could there was a plastic window here that was all you know cracked and yellowed so I cut a piece of glass out of a old picture picture frame and I JB welded it in there hold hopefully that We'll stay I got a little blob there um, I replaced this wire it's all cracked um, I made one mistake I was using acetone to clean off the tube sockets and I spilt a bunch on on the meter and it, you can kind of see it turns it all white but uh, I sanded it down with some 2000 grit sandpaper and it cleaned it up good enough to use that's the finest I could find. Um, also came with this doohickey to check the tubes. This is the top of it, it comes off. Um, comes with these ancient scrolls. And so what they do is they go onto this this wheel so you can look at the value for the tubes. Um, I tested a few tubes. I couldn't find some in there, but then I found in the back of this. It's got a supplemental. And these are for tubes that aren't that are not on the scroll because I couldn't fit them all on there. Or tubes that are less used. Less used. I probably should scan all this stuff. It's got the TV tube test adapter. Um, so that's yeah, this one I got TC-2 dash 2 and I think this was made about 63 so probably this supplement for new tubes that came out there's a schematic kind of how it was put together It had a 1.1 microfarad capacitor here that I replaced, but I didn't have a 0.1, so I used a 1, 6, 600 volt, 1 microfarad. But I don't think it matters, because I think it just smooths out. I don't think you want pulsing AC going into the meter, so I think that's what it is. But mostly what it is, it's just a transformer with a bunch of taps. Goes over to this switch, which is, I'll show you. Just controls all different grid voltages. And there's like a little variac here that is for the plate voltage. And then there's this really complicated uh, set of switches here. <laughs> but, I mean, there's a lot of wires in there. So hopefully Fred did a good job putting it together, but you can see where he checked off. I always think that's funny. He put everything in there. Here's the uh, filament voltage with all the taps from the transformer goes there. So I'll test a couple tubes. Alright, so this is a 6x5. It's a full wave rectifier. And so you go to here, set the type to 3, filament voltage 6.3, plate to 32, and then you go to C, then G, H. So if it says top, you move the switch to top, bottom, down. Let's see what goes on here. Oops. 
and also there was there's two lights in here um, there's a little grommet so the bulb it brittle broke so the bulb the second bulbs kind of just hanging that's why it's kind of not illuminated on that side turn the light back on so you let it warm up zero the meat the needle there And then you hit the test switch. It's good. So I'm kind of glad I got this. Uh, there wasn't a radio shop here in town that's been here forever, but he had a tube tester, one of the big kind. And uh, I got that constant communicator. I was going to test the tubes that went down there. It was closed one day, and then I went back about a week later, and the whole place was cleared out. So. I'm glad I got this. Uh, there's a couple additional tests you can make. Like if you, uh, so if these are in light font, you run them through. And if that neon light stays on, uh, one of them is for internal short. Let me see. It says you can test for open filament, but I mean, you already know that. It's not glowing. So that's how you test for like an internal short in there. We try it um, a couple, I got a couple of different weird tubes. We'll see. Let me see what this. This is a, a Loctol. I got this out of a about a 1947 car radio. So it's a 7A4. Let me look up what that is. So the 7A4 is a Tetrode. And I got it set up. Still good. Try. I'll try to find an odd one. So this is a 6K7. And uh, just like this Loctal one, I, it's not on the scroll, so I had to find this. So if someone picked one of these up, and they, if they didn't have that, they might think, well, I can't test it, but it can. Um warm up here it's bad let me make sure I got all the switches right CD K EGH what else is bad let me see how Turn up the plate voltage, see what happens. Thirty-two, that's what it's supposed to be at. It's good to know. I think I'll test all I got a few tubes, I'll test them all. Ones that are bad, I'll separate them out. Maybe make a list so I know what I have, but I'm gonna hook this. I wanted to test this one out, it's just got this. I guess that's the grid cap. Oh, that big old thing. Figure out what socket it goes into. Maybe that one. Alright. Try not to get shocked. Test it and test good. So anyway, that's my uh, tube tech tube tester. I'm glad to have that. So I can because sometimes if you got an old tube radio, you know if some what's wrong. I mean, you might think it's a capacitor or something. It could be a bad tube, and you don't know. So that's it for the heat kit. Model TC-2, thanks to Fred for building it.